It's not often an election result leads to celebrations in the government and the opposition. But after Spanish voters elected a hung parliament, both the left-wing and right-wing camps have attempted to claim victory. The Conservative People's Party took the most seats. Leader Alberto Nunes Feijó declared they won the elections. Hemos ganado las elecciones. But he knows he'll struggle to form a majority in Parliament. Smiles and cheers among supporters of the incumbent Socialist Party too. Creo que España ha sido bien clara. Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez called a surprise snap election after performing poorly in local elections, but fared much better than anticipated, though he too will struggle to form a government. The far-right Vox party were not celebrating, their presence in parliament shrinking by 19 seats, despite fears they would win enough to form a ruling coalition with the centre-right People's Party, they might well get another shot in a few months' time. You can see from the results how hard it will be for either side to form a majority. The Conservative People's Party took close to 50 more seats than at the last election, but even with the seats of the far-right Vox Party, they fall short. The left-wing alliance is also in a difficult situation. Even if they negotiate the support of a number of small regional parties closer to them than the right wing, they couldn't form a government. The potential kingmaker, a hardline separatist party from Catalonia, whose leader is in self-imposed exile. Carles Puigdemont led a failed push for Catalan independence in 2017 before fleeing to Belgium. He's still wanted in Spain on charges of disobedience and embezzlement but dismisses the allegations as politically motivated. A spokesman for his Junts party suggested they would demand major concessions in return for support. Our priority is Catalonia, not the governability of the Spanish state. We won't move a millimetre, because we remember. A deal between the separatists and the right wing would be impossible. It's difficult for the socialists too. They want uh, another referendum and they're asking for the possibility for that possibility. The problem is that Sanchez has said that they won't, he won't give that, right? Uh, but this is a, an, an extreme position of power. They are in a very strong position uh, to ask for what they want. If an agreement can't be reached, Spaniards will be heading to the polls again this winter.